Welcome and good evening everyone to the episode of What the Heck Is This in EMS? I don't know what we're going to discuss tonight, but I think it's going to be a stair chair because this sitting in front of me looks pretty similar to that. So, as we continue, we're going to be going over this piece of equipment here. This is what we call a stair chair in the industry. So basically, when it's folded up in the truck, fold it up just like this. Okay. There are some locks on the back. Okay, to keep it from rolling around, getting away from us, and a whole bunch of different red handle do it keys or whatnot. Okay, so we'll be going over each one of those as we continue on here tonight. All right. First and foremost, very easy, very simple. It just pops open and locks. Okay. Once it's open in this position. Basically, what I like to do, make sure all the straps are out of the way, and any kind of movement you're going to be doing with your patient. Now, in a normal scenario, I would have a blanket down and then be able to wrap that blanket around my patient. But for this demonstration, we're going to skip the, the blanket here. I'm going to ask my, my lovely assistant behind the camera crash there to throw me the dummy, and uh, we'll actually get this set up and uh, have you guys ah, the dummy okay so, sir please sit down in the stair chair okay what we do here is we cross the straps okay and cross the straps Okay, now at this point, I make sure to tell the patient, hey, you want to grab right here. Best place for your hands is to grab right here because they're not going to be reaching all over the place to grab um, railings or door frames or anything else they can try to grab as we move them out of the uh, area that they're in. The next thing I like to do if um, the patient is on oxygen or something like that, I'll give them the oxygen bottle to hold on to and say, please hold on to this for us. But it gives them something to do with their hands and that way they don't um, reach or try to grab for anything else. Okay, so I'm going to unlock the wheels here. All right, and we'll kind of spin this around and get it back. So you have your two handles, which just slide up inside. Very good, and then it basically acts just as a normal wheelchair. Okay, we're, we're wheeling grandpa down the road here. So, that's how we get them out. All right, when we come to a set of staircases, okay, or any set of stairs or steps, if we're not going to physically pick the patient up with these handles and a, a lovely assistant in the front with the front handles by the feet up here. Now these come in and out, which is the push of the button, okay? So say we come up to that staircase now and now we need to get the patient down the stairs. What are we gonna do, all right? Well, from the back view, you can see it has this lovely track system. All right? So to lower said track system, you lift up on this middle bar and slide out until you hear a click. All right? Once you hear that click, you can lower your two wheelchair handles by just depressing the red buttons and sliding the handle down. Now, at this point, we have this lovely piece of steel cable is marked right here. We can pull that and raise the slide handle, as I like to call it. It's quite interesting, but it works, okay? So now, at this point, we're facing the top of the stairs, the patient is facing forward, and not for nothing, we're basically gonna put the patient back on the dolly. So you slide the patient back until they're on the tracks, okay? The tracks will grasp any kind of staircase and um, carpet's a little bit more slipperier than others, but carpet's always a pain in the butt. Tile, wood steps, this is excellent system for it. Once in this position, we'll slide them on the tracks, down the staircase, and then bring them right back up. Okay? As I said, this time, we're going to close up the tracks, because now we're down on a flat, solid surface. Okay? We're going to be lowering said handle, okay, my best 
Dana White move there that I can try. You're going to re-engage the wheelchair handles and continue to wheel Grandpa down the road to wherever our stretcher or litter may be. At this point, we'd like to close everything up, okay? Lock the wheels, and then we'll assist Grandpa from the stair chair to said stretcher. All right, I'm going to show you now how you kind of stow this. All right, so dummy, it's going away. Woo. All right, now grandpa, he's on the stretcher, he's in the back. We need to stow this and put this back on the truck. So how do we do that? All right, so in the back, okay, you can see there's a second red handle down here. All right, all you need to do Lift up on that red handle, and the whole system collapses. All right, at this point, it's perfectly ready to store in the truck. What I would recommend is locking at least one of the wheels, okay? The other one will pivot, but at least one of them are locked. Two is bad, because then it's not sliding around and you have to drive up your, your keys to yelling at you. What the heck's that back in the back of the truck? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you stow stair chair. Please direct all comments, questions below. Let me know if you like this and uh, let me know if you want more content.